I'll demonstrate how to transfer about a thousand pictures from my laptop to an inexpensive tablet, um, Samsung uh, Tablet 3. And I will use the photo emailer and I'll transfer pictures from iPhoto. So I'm copying from iPhoto pasting into uh, my application I just want to show that you can uh, transfer a large volume of pictures uh, so I don't know if I will have the full thousand here but it should be close let's do a few more okay since I will be transferring to the email address that I configured here for my email configuration, I don't have to type anything on the tool line. You can obviously call, send it to anybody, your mom, dad, your, your colleague. Uh, I'll just give it a subject. Um, quick transfer. And I'll, uh, I can leave my message uh, empty if I want to. I'll type something. And I'll pick a resolution that will be sufficient for the tablet and, and they won't that won't eat too much space so at this point um, I just click send here and uh, uh, these hashes represent each image processed uh, we'll take a break for coffee uh, right now but uh, basically at this point my manual work on the computer has completed. There is some computer work, but uh, and we'll show the results of it when we're done. But uh, I'll just take uh, a break right now, and we'll continue when the uh, images are transferred. Um, after a coffee break, I resumed here, and uh, um, just a summary of what happened. Uh, so the important thing is that this is hands-free. Once I started the transfer, everything completed without any further intervention. Uh, there were a couple of problems reported with uh, uh, reported as minor issues with some pictures. So it, it did send these pictures, something with the exit uh, section of the picture. And uh, we had a total of 669 images. They were processed and we can see the transfer um, of all the email messages that these images were split into. So the whole process from start at uh, 255 till finish at 314 took roughly 20 minutes to transfer um, to transfer 669 images but uh, so not not I didn't get the full thousand there uh, but the important thing is it's hands free once you start it it goes by itself I want to show one more, more thing here I I did modify the the email address my original email address here but um, the attachment size, I modified it from the default of 3 megabytes to 5 megabytes, and that I find uh, to be a kind of a sweet spot. I don't know how these email servers work, but if you select a larger number, it uh, looked to me that the actual delivery is slower. Uh, something happening on the servers that make these larger messages um, a little bit slower to, to deliver. Um, so this is uh, this is what happened here on my um, on my uh, laptop and uh, here 
on my tablet uh, in the email app I can see all these um, uh, transfers uh, all these uh, uh, emails there there is a total of 26 emails and uh, I don't know in a droid of a good way of transferring all the attachments automatically uh, to my uh, photo albums so I ended up uh, having to click on the email and pressing on the attachments and just saying save all and this uh, took care of it and uh, one by one I saved these images and I uh, then verified in in photos that these images that were saved are showing up in my albums that completes this tutorial thank you very much